Hi, I'm Ryan Carter. I'm the Metro Editor for the San Bernardino Sun. I'm here with Ryan Hagen. Um, he reports on Colton, the city of Colton, its school board, and uh, among other beats. And tonight, uh, we're doing uh, this uh, little video feature a little ahead of his meeting. Um, but uh, tonight, there's an important school board meeting in which they're um, going to be talking about transportation in the Colton Joint uh, Unified School District specifically how to move students around. Um, and there are some options on the table, Ryan, from what I understand. Um, and I'd like you to just um, outline some of the options tonight that are going on for the, that the board's going to be talking about. And they sound pretty drastic. Um, could you outline some of that stuff tonight and why it matters? Of course, yeah. The, fir the first um, and most drastic action would be just to get rid of busing completely uh, for everyone except for those students who the state requires you to bus, such as special education students. And that would save the district uh, about 1.8 million, which gets it a, a significant chunk of the way to the, um, the 14 million that it's trying to eventually uh, cut before the end of cut from next year's uh, budget. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, that's going to have a, a drastic impact on all these students who have depended on buses, as well as on the 41 people who are uh, slated to lose their jobs if that plan goes. And these are the best drivers. Exactly. Yeah, yeah most of the best drivers and uh, some infrastructure people, mm -hmm. support people. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second plan would be a, a little bit less aggressive. It would still uh, provide service to people who are not able to um, walk to school because they're in areas that are not designed for pedestrians. Uh, there's a, a, actually quite a number of places like that in the district. It's, it's, it's this kind of sprawling district that involves crossing freeways, and, and so uh, those people would still have service, but others would, would be expected um, to, to walk. And, and that's still a plan that, uh, you know, it means the loss of 18 jobs and, and a significant number of people not able to, uh, to depend on the bus anymore. Mm -hmm. And the third plan, um, which you know, um, is, is comparatively mild, would increase the distance that students are um, expected to walk. Uh, it, it, it varies elementary school, middle school, and high school students. As it is, if you live within half a mile or a mile, a mile and a half of your school, depending on your level, you're expected to to walk and, and uh, the district's not going to provide you a bus for that. And those distances under this plan would stretch so that students have a, a, a bit more of a hike before they get to school. And uh, in that case, again, we're talking about the loss of uh, you know, something like 14 jobs and, and, and I know that dollars in, in, in savings to the district. Even if that, if, so even if it's a plan where they increase the, the amount of distance, mm -hmm. people would actually lose their job with that plan too, even though it's comparatively milder? Right, I mean, it would be about, uh, a quarter as many people would, would, would lose the job, I guess. Um, a, a, a little bit more, I guess. Oh, I see, because you still have people taking the bus. Right, but not, not as many. Just not as many. Would, yeah. More so, would be walking. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know, Ryan, if that's a normal thing where uh, there is an actual policy uh, of the district about how far kids are actually expected to walk? I, I never heard that before. Yeah, I mean, other districts have, have something similar where, you know, the district's not going to pay to pick you up if you live next door to the school. Right. Um, and so, you know, in, in, in Colton's case, you know, the, the, as I said, that's set by different gradations. And, and it gets to a, to a, a, a bit of a walk for, for high schoolers, you know. You're, uh, you kind of have to be in a bit of shape, actually, to, to make it after this policy goes into effect. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know yet, actually, which... Um, how these exact distances compare to you know various other districts in, in the area, but uh, the, the policy itself is, is relatively standard. Got it. Okay. Well, Ryan, thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you for tuning in.